Hi viewers, to understand the whole content, see the video from the starting to ending. The basic explanation in this video is the mobility skills, how they are independent on their own in paraplegia. This man got parts paraplegia. Parts paraplegia is due to tuberculosis, spine got affected and because of that they become paraplegic. He is T4 level. For T4 level they will be low sensations below uh, chest level. For him, sensory is not affected, only motor is affected. That is, he is not able to move his limbs, but he got severe spasticity. Because of spasticity, the leg will go in its own positions in a different problem. He is being visited many of the rehabilitation centers. They made him independent on wheelchair, but the upper limb strength is very fair and trunk balance is poor. And because of severe spasticity, he is not able to do independently. Now what we try to do is reducing the spasticity by doing weight bearing activities so that spasticity was reduced. Then we improved his upper limb strengthening. Then the trunk balance also improved. While all the three together, now you could see he can independently go around by using a modified scooter and a wheelchair. The basic thing you are seeing here is the strap or the sandal which is attached in the scooter and the wheelchair. Why? Because even though we reduce the spasticity to a certain level, many of the times it is called diurnal variation. Most of the time in a, it can be vary. Sometimes it is exaggerating or sometimes it will be reduced. So reducing to the extent for his functional dependency, you can see his limb, how it is going for flexors and keep on extended. That is what the severe spasticity. So it can hit anywhere and he can get injury. That's why he do this kind of a way. He fix the sandal in the wheelchair and the scooter so that they can put up the strap it can avoid injuries self injuries you can prevent by using this kinds of mode so again to reinforcing this even though you can make this people stand or walk they may not be able to do independently in a long term but on the other hand by concentrating weight bearing if you reduce the spasticity increase their trunk balances and improving the upper limb strengthening can improve them to an independent level of living for the lifetime. They need not to be dependent on anyone else for their physical assistance. They can be independent.